and good evening, wherever you are. Myself, Sia Disha Maheshwari of Proud Pin Drama, your faculty for management accounting. Welcome to the revision short 5. In this particular segment, we are going to talk about economic order quantity. From which particular chapter this is? This is from the chapter material. So let's start with the concept. What is the concept of EOQ? Economic order quantity. This particular formula, this magical formula gives us the quantity which we should order so that our ordering cost and our holding cost should be minimum. So EOQ, economic order quantity, is an order size when we are going to order it by both the cost holding and the ordering will be minimum. Now let's also talk about what is the ordering cost and what is the holding cost. So ordering cost is the cost associated with the order ring link whenever you are going to place the order. So all the documentation, inspection, transportation costs, they are conferred under the ordering cost. So if your number of order is high, your ordering cost will increase. And when I talk about the holding cost, holding cost is cost associated with holding or carrying the inventory. So the cost of storage, cost of pilferage, cost of capital, and all of these costs are being, you know, covered or cost of insurance. All of these are costs are being covered under cost of, you know, holding or as we say as carrying cost. So if you're going to hold more inventories, your carrying cost will increase. Now, normally ordering cost and holding cost, they work in, they are like inversely proportional. Reason being, if you're going to place more order, you have to hold less quantity okay and in that particular scenario holding cost will decline on the other hand if you are going to you know place less order so in one order you have to place more quantity so your you know the a number of units which you are going to hold they will increase and hence your holding cost will increase so the confusion arises that what should be the order size which we should go for so that both of these costs should be at a minimum level and that we are going to achieve through the formula of EUQ now what's the formula of EUQ the formula is very very simple that's 2 into A, that's the annual demand, into the ordering cost per order, divided by carrying cost or holding cost per unit per annum to the whole square. Like the entire thing will be whole square. That's going to give you the EOQ. And that is the order side which you should place whenever you are placing an order so that you can keep both of your costs at a minimum level and hence keeping the total purchase cost at a minimum level. So that's the concept we have revised in this particular revision shots. I will be seeing you. Till then, this is Sri Disha Maheshwari signing off.